Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Inshallah, you guys are all doing well. Inshallah, you and your family are staying safe from this coronavirus. Alhamdulillah, the coronavirus has slowed down in Michigan. There's, according to the stats that have been put out, there's only about 900 new cases, but there is still 200 new deaths. So as you guys see, my brothers and sisters, this death kill rate of this virus obviously isn't, isn't the highest, but it's still killing people. So my brothers and sisters, please, during this time of fear, just stay home. There's a lot of people that have been saying like, oh, I want to go see my friend. I want to go to my friend's house. My brothers and sisters, it's not worth your life. It's not worth you dying. It's not worth giving the virus to your family. And before you know it, us staying in our house, us on lockdown will end. And at this rate, it looks like it will be ending sooner than we all thought. If it keeps going like this, like yesterday, it was increasing at a rate of like 1,700. Now it's increasing by 800, 900. So we'll see how it increases tomorrow. And hopefully it just keeps dropping daily. Because my brothers and sisters, like we know, this is killing a lot of people. And we just want this virus to stop. As we know, the holy month of Ramadan is very nearby. Less than two weeks. And inshallah, we will all be fasting. It's highly recommended, my brothers and sisters, just to say this. Fast at least three days in every month. It's not hard. Fast once every ten days. Once every ten days. Not only is fasting amazing for you. They, according to Rasulullah, one who fasts shall live a, a longer life according to the holy prophet a thousand four hundred and forty one years ago he said that fasting is good for you and your immune system and as you guys see today there there have been studies done in universities in california where they say how good fasting is for you it cleans out your system and like we're saying my brothers and sisters it's not fasting like we do in ramadan like fast once every week, once every 10 days, like I've been saying. At least a minimal fast three days in a month. So you can clean out your system. Because daily, your your body is working. It's daily working. When you're not fasting. So for one day out of 10 days, let your body rest. There's uh somebody that said, let it rest for 16 hours, which is the amount of hours you will be fasting. And then you could eat for the next eight hours. Obviously, that doesn't mean for the next straight eight hours you eat. You guys know what I mean. So, yeah, if you guys can just fast as often as you possibly can. Of course, if you're putting your health in danger or putting yourself in danger physically or mentally, don't do it. Because there's a lot of people that start having problems when they fast, such as throwing up their, the, their head starts hurting. Of course, in Ramadan, if you can handle that, do it. But... Aside from that, if it's just mustahab fast, of course, try your best to do it, my brothers and sisters, but you guys don't have to do it. I'm just saying that it's really good for you. It helps clean out your system. It helps you feel better for that day. Inshallah, as you guys know, like I said, Ramadan is very close. The holy month of Ramadan, my brothers and sisters, in two weeks. So, inshallah, during this virus, we've all been reading Quran. We've all been reading Dua. As you guys know, in the holy month of Ramadan, you get extra rewards for reading Quran. You get extra rewards for reading Dua. There are a bunch of sayings, a bunch of hadiths that state one who reads one ayah is like he's read the whole Quran. Some say one who reads one surah is like as if he's read the whole Quran. So, my brothers and sisters... You could say that this virus coming during the time of Ramadan is kind of good. You could say that. You're in the house most of the time. You got nothing to do. You can read Quran. You got nothing to do. So my brothers and sisters, all I'm trying to say is take advantage of this. Take advantage of this. If we, we've had almost a month off, my brothers and sisters, get used to a new schedule. Waking up for morning prayer. Praying the nightly prayer. Take advantage of this, my brothers and sisters. People see this. As, oh, it's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala trying to punish us. Oh, it's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mm -hmm. trying to tell us something. Is coming. My brothers and sisters, this could quite possibly be a test. If this is a test, we don't want to fail. 
let's just get that through. We don't want to fail. If this is truly the end of the world, what's the point of us stacking up bad deeds on top of each other? Before this virus came, they say, oh, we want to be close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This was a general saying. We want to be close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, even during the end of the world, we're going to be way closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Some people are saying this is the end of the world. Let's say, my brothers and sisters, this is the end of the world. What did we do? We, we moved farther away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Is that truly what we're supposed to be doing? We're supposed to be getting close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And use Ramadan, Shahar Ramadan, the holy month of Ramadan. Use it as a blessing. Use it as a blessing, my brothers and sisters. Especially in this time, like I said, you have nothing to do. Use it as a blessing to, to rack up as much hasanat as you possibly can. Like we know, the... The reward that you get from reading Quran, from reading Dua, from doing holy acts in Shah Ramadan, the holy month of Ramadan, are multiplied by thousands. Thousands, my brothers and sisters. So as often as you can, everybody should already be reading Quran on a daily basis. Five minutes, ten minutes, at least to read one ayah of Quran as often as you possibly can. So reading Quran during Ramadan shouldn't be hard. You should be way more motivated, way more motivated. Racking up as much hasanat as you possibly can. Inshallah, my brothers and sisters.